Hi everyone and welcome to our Pit Science YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to talk about JavaScript math static property and methods. If you are new to the JavaScript or if you are just looking for a refresher, I hope this video will be helpful. So without further ado, let's get started. Namaste. Welcome to Bit Science. Math is a built-in object in JavaScript. So math itself, it's not, it's not a function object. What it means that math, if you say this is an object, but it doesn't have any constructor. If you compare with others, have some constructor. Means you can create object with that. But with math, you, you don't need to, or it doesn't allow you to. So all the properties and the method in maths are static. Static property, a property that belongs to a class as a whole, not to a particular object of the class. This means that they can be accessed without creating an instance of the class. For example, the math object has a number of static property, such as pi. These property can be accessed directly without creating a math object. Let's see. So with math, you can write it. So how to write pi value? Just write simple math.pi. So this is a constant value. It cannot be changed. And we don't need to create an object. Just simply write the math and the property or the method. So this is the property. Following with, we were going to learn some methods. If you run this code, you will see the pi value in math. Math is generally used for type number type. So we will going to see some example and understand some math methods. See this example. Okay. So this is math ABS. We have used this ABS. ABS means absolute value. So ABS, whatever you put with, inside a number in within ABS, you will get always absolute positive number. You will never get a negative number. So this will return a positive number. This will return 27 number. And CBRT, CBRT is a method. It means CB root, cube root. So what should be the answer here? 3. Cube root of 27 is 3. So you will not get any negative because of the absolute. Let's go next example. We may have discussed this ceiling effect, right? This, this there are three methods in this example. One is ABS, second is square root, then we have ceiling. Okay, we are going to discuss every three things in one. ABS will give positive value, square root will give square root, not the cube root, two times. And ceiling will give me the largest equivalent to that number. So what would be the answer for this? 3 point, what would be the largest value of this? 3, see 3.2 is more than 3. Then what is the next value of that? 4. So you will get same floor value example floor means and uh, smallest of that nearest to that value so what would be the answer for this one floor value would be four next example different value square rooting and also doing round what would be the result 36 is six and uh, 25 might be something near to less than five okay so we can check that also. See, less than 5. As I said, this is the value. So now, what would be the round figure? It should be near to 6. It is less than 5, then that's why it will take 6. Next example. Square root of 4 and cube root of this number. Whatever I'm doing, I'm doing power. Power means power. Okay. So power, how did this it works? The first, this is the base and this is the power of. So here, whatever the value, this is a base and that is a power value. What would be the result? And 9, 512. Let's quickly do example. How to calculate the hypotenuse of right angle. So what it say that this is the square root of sum of the square of its arguments. What it means, we have one parameter, two parameter. There can be multiple parameters. So each parameter will be square. Then everything will be added up. Then at the end, it's square root. If I simply say hypothesis value 2 and 3, first it will be 4 plus, then whatever the value, the total value, 9 plus 4 would be uh, 13, and 13 will be square root. So that should be 3.06. So that is the calculation of the hypotenuse. Same. Logic you apply and try to find this answer. 5 plus 5 square times 25 plus 144. 140. Mm. So, they take 30. Let's see last example of this. This one. This is the array. It contains 1, 3, 2. 
I want to find the max value. So I have used this is spread op operation. I have spread this value, this array value, and put it in. This. So max and min, I believe you know to find the max. Three, three, and one. It will help us to solve some uh, binomial equations, some arithmetic equations, some other kind of equation, uh, or some theorem you can solve this. Okay. So I have uh, one example. You know Pythagoras theorem. Okay. So let's see Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras does that the relationship in every right triangle. So this is for right triangle. Uh, a square plus B square. And where C is the hypotenuse and A, B, C are two legs also. I will get X and Y two value. Yep. You can use power value. We know that this is going to for base two. Right. Wow. And Continue. That's all for this video. I hope you learned a little bit about JavaScript. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.